Hello everyone, welcome to the Economic Week Ahead brought to you by Business Day. My name is Eniola Olatunji and with me is... Wasim Ali. Um, this week is a very interesting week. Oh, is this, uh, every week is interesting. Course, the economy yeah. is always bubbly <laughs> and then there's always a data to come out. Mm -hmm, yeah. But this week we are expecting the Transport Fair Watch from MBS amongst other data. What's you? So what do we expect from Transport Fair Watch? Right, um, so the National Bureau of Statistics will be releasing the air transportation data for the first six months of oh, this year. This year. Oh, wow. Right. So um, um, the data from MBS for last month shows that um, 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 air transportation, you know, increased by about 56.25% within a year from um, 57,000 per single trip. Air trip to about 123,000 era. You know, so the, and and this this still tells us about how things are, you know, yes, yes. rising, cost rising, yeah. energy. And um, something that really affected airlines is um, even the FX devaluation. Yes. A lot of yeah. their licensing, yeah, their of fees, repair, repairing of like their, um, their cargo, I mm -hmm. mean, the plane yeah. is done so, in so, FX. So the report, the report will be out today. Today. And, I think, and uh, it's an interesting report to look out for. To look for. out for, yeah. Yeah, on Wednesday, the Central Bank of Nigeria will be issuing, and will be issuing, will be going. There will be a primary auction for treasury bills worth eighty-two billion naira. Honestly, this is one of the smallest auctions yeah, I have uh, ever I know it witnessed. Used to be it's usually over hundred. Yes, two hundred. Yeah, um, three hundred. But and recently, I think um, the Southern Bank have, has been issuing treasury bills. Um, lately, uh, there was a bond auction, treasury bills. Yeah, well, treasury bill auction up. it occurs biweekly. But I think that they are really trying to cut, especially it reflects in the bond. Especially, they've yeah. been really reducing lesser and lesser bonds. Um, of recent, especially in this quarter. So in the last auction, mm -hmm. which was two weeks ago, and that was just the same day that MPR was increased to 27.25%. Uh, a surprise increase, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we saw this increase reflect in the yields of treasury bills. It went for, mm. it, with one year treasury bill went as high as 24%. And before these auctions, in the last three auctions, we saw yields start to decline. This year, treasury bill. Um, this year, treasury bill yields peaked at twenty eight percent. That's one of the highest we've ever witnessed. No, and I think that should be credited to the increase. Yes, the increase in, in, in NPR. In yeah. But when um, inflation yeah. started to come down, and it looked like oh, there will be like a cut because you know a lot of people expected a cut. In, in fact, the that was NPR. my expectation yes. too. Uh, in least. fact, people that even projected like an increase projected only a twenty five basis points increase, but we saw a fifty basis point, mm. and then. The three, the three um, auctions before them, we saw yields decline. Like yields were declining. They were going like 23% and 3%. So it's actually great news, uh, mm. at least for investors. Yes, for investors. When um, yields went as high as 24% in the last auction. And we expect that yields will remain at that level yeah. at this auction. So also, I think on Thursday, yeah, on Thursday. Yeah, on Thursday, the US will be, the releasing, US will be releasing it. It's, it's consumer price index, index inflation. Which is also known as inflation, mm. yes. Uh, lately, you look at, you see that um, there's this a, a downward trend in inflation. I'm in the telling US. you, the US is currently and, and think, enjoying. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I think that was more reason why um, um, the, the Fed. The Fed, Joel Powell. Yeah, Jim Powell, Powell. Cut rates. Country. And, um, you know, um, US is not like our economy. Yeah. You know, many people were expecting that, oh, okay, no, they, globally, uh, interest rate has been, um, um, people have been cutting interest yeah, rates. but you know, the, the thing is that we, it's, it's not like the U.S. is not like our economy, because mm. they held rates. We were expecting rate cuts about, since February, yeah. February, March, April. We expected three rate cuts this year. They've held rates down, they've held rates till September. Mm. So, we, we, it's almost the same. It's almost the same as what um, Cardoso is trying to do. Although Cardoso has been doing an increase and, and an increase. But U.S. inflation, we've seen U.S. inflation increase for like three straight months now. And that's when, that's when they had enough confidence to cut, to cut this rate. rate. I, I, I think it's at 2.6% now. Yeah. Down from 2.9%. Down from 2.9%. Yeah, and that's very incredible because the first target is 2%. Yeah. 
So it's they are nearing the target. But, but for Nigeria, the, the case is you know <laughs> it's just widely apart. Yeah, and the target is twenty one percent. We are twenty two point one five percent now. Hmm. Well, it's it's really it's really it's really a, a very tough it's, it's a decision, decision for even this morning. There are news that um the the CBN um, governor said that yes that um increasing the interest rate will be tight for businesses, but it's necessary for inflation and yeah. it's truly necessary. And then we need other aspect of the economy to bounce we need we need that two million barrels <laughs> of oil per you know, day there's, there, 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 there are two ways to it it's either we ramp up oil our production, oil production mm -hmm. and of course maybe um there must be something and the fiscal side needs to do more year, yes side, See, like something very substantial Otherwise, is, he's just dishing out every all of his I, I, all the things all he can <laughs> and i think he, yeah, all of it, he has laid all his cards on uh -huh. his table and so it's, it's, it's left for the fiscal side, side to, to to complement the effort of the cbn now let's yes. let's quickly look Go, at what yes to the naira is, 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 and all of this has been to even defend the naira hmm. And we, mm. we, what we've seen is that, like a lot of like the the moves by the CBN yeah. has not really translated in the um, in the, the FX market. FX market, especially in the black market. But well, well, what I think, um, any, what I think truly is that um, the CBN, of course, has been um, dishing out yes, it has been strong doing strong monetary stance and mm -hmm. it's been increasing rates. But many, many people, many analysts, economists have spoken with, uh, they, are, they were of the opinion that rates alone won't do it, yes. right? Because um, our system is one that relies solely on oil, oil production, exports yes. oil, for oil forex. Yeah? But if we can diversify our economy, like you said, increase oil production to 2 million barrels, mm -hmm. um, um, diversify the economy so much so that mm -hmm. our source of earning effects FX will not just not be just oil. on oil yeah we so will. this will not have an, an overarching effect on the cbn and you know the only tool don't let me say the only but <laughs> the best tool the cbn can do it's, over the world or all central banks can do over the world is to increase rates rate, to yeah. curb inflation to stem uh, um, too much money in circulation and, yeah. and all of that also. and in july we had um there were projections of um naira Appreciating to a thousand four fifty, and truly in that period we were it yeah, was looking there was, like it. There was a lot of gains. It, yeah. it, it, it was looking like it, but now we see one one day of the week this steady this mm. serious appreciation. Because mm. I remember sometime last week Naira went to like a thousand five fifty. Yeah, I and think then that the was, next, I think it was October first. That was when um, the CBN um, intervened, like twenty thousand. I mean, twenty million um, dollars. Like in, it went to one thousand five fifty, and the of, next day. It went back to 1,006 something. Uh, uh, the, the CBN governor mentioned something very important, and I think it's very poignant too, that um, um, uh, the governors are exchanging, when, whenever they receive FAC allocation, mm -hmm. they exchange yes, the money. To, yes, yeah, you know, so those there, things so are, data, data to show that whenever the like, FAC is this, um, yeah, FAC is this bust, the um, Naira depreciates. depreciates. And so, so all of these are affecting the Naira stability. And of course, we hope that, we can only hope that the Naira stability uh, in the short term and of course in the long term becomes stable. Because yeah. that's, that's really what businesses and everyone, investors, everyone alike wants. So that will be it for today. Uh, for more in-depth analysis on our stories, you can log on to our website at www.businessday.ng and of course follow us on all our social media platforms at BusinessNG. My name still remains Wasiu Ali. And I am Eniola Olatunji. For more in-depth analysis, please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng.